Ever find yourself stuck inside on a rainy day uh, scrolling through those delivery apps? You know, the ones? Yeah. yeah, so you're not alone. But, like, have you ever actually stopped to think about the companies like, uh, like Shipped? How do they deal with crazy weather and still manage to get your order to your door? That's actually what we're going to dive into today. That whole like wild world of weather and how it yeah. impacts businesses. I mean, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's kind of easy to forget about all that stuff, you know, when you're comfy on the couch just waiting for your order. But really, those services like Shipped, they're dealing with weather challenges constantly, like every single day. Exactly. And, you know, we're talking about Shipped specifically today they've got this huge network of shoppers all over the place mm. and they're known for like really putting the customer first right having a good experience and all that but our deep dive today well it uncovers something that really impacts them maybe more than you'd think weather yeah it's one of those things we all know it affects our own plans right but we don't always connect it to how businesses are affected too totally and when it comes to deliveries yeah. we're not just talking like a sprinkle of rain here the article we've got here basically says straight up that weather is like the biggest headache for delivery operations. Yeah, it's a total logistical nightmare. Like imagine a huge downpour starts out of nowhere. Suddenly everyone and their grandma wants comfort food, right? Mm -hmm. So orders explode. But then you've got slippery roads, maybe reduced visibility, all while you're trying to make sure those deliveries still arrive quickly. You know, because that's what customers expect. It really makes you appreciate those little notifications in the app. Yeah. You know, the ones that say, hey, your order might be a bit delayed. It's not just some random message. It's like a peek behind the curtain. You're seeing a whole system adjust on the fly because of the weather. Exactly. And that's where Ship's partnership with this company, Tomorrow.io, gets interesting. They're not just looking at your average weather forecast. They're using something called weather intelligence. Okay, weather intelligence. Now, yep. that sounds kind of futuristic. What's the difference between that and just checking my weather app? Think of it this way. Your weather app that's like the basic version, tomorrow.io, is giving you like the super high definition picture. They use AI and factor in tons of hyperlocal data, you know, even tiny little changes in microclimates within a city. And they can get these super precise and like real time insights into the weather. So it's like having a whole team of, you know, meteorologists constantly analyzing how the weather will impact every single delivery route. Basically, yeah. And the best part is it actually works. Like the article mentions that SHIP has managed to like significantly cut down on weather related delays. It's all about being proactive rather than just reacting to whatever chaos the weather throws at them. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But how does this actually work in the real world? Like say I order groceries and then boom, thunderstorm hits. What's going on behind the scenes? So let's say that thunderstorm hits right when your ship shopper is picking up your groceries. What they can actually do is they can actually see that storm forming. Mm -hmm. They can see its path. They can even tell like how heavy that rain's going to be in specific areas. Wow. So it's like they've got like a super powered weather radar or something. Yeah. It's pretty wild. But how does that actually help get my order to me? That's where the strategy comes in. They can use that data to reroute shoppers around the worst parts of the storm, maybe send you a little notification, hey, your shopper might be running a few minutes behind. They could even adjust the delivery windows for everyone in the area, you know, just to keep things running smoothly. So instead of like panicking when the storm hits, they're already ahead of it. Hmm. That's pretty impressive. And it's not just about keeping the customers happy either, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this has got to be a big deal for the shoppers themselves. Oh, absolutely. Ship's really big on shopper safety, which, you know, makes total sense, especially in bad weather. Like imagine a shopper is about to head into a flash flood zone. That's dangerous. But Shipped can use this data to warn them, you know, even delay the delivery if it's not safe. Right. It's about finding that balance between getting the order delivered and making sure no one gets hurt in the process, which honestly sounds tricky. It's easy to say safety first, but when you're running a business, it gets complicated. Mm. This tomorrow.io thing, though, it seems like it gives them the tools to actually make it work. Yeah. And it kind of shows how important this kind of weather data is becoming for all sorts of industries. It's not just about delivery anymore. You're right. We've been talking about ship this whole time. But the article mentions other examples, too, like Fox Sports using weather data for sports broadcasting, which kind of sounds random at first. Think about it. You've got golf tournaments delayed by rain baseball games where the wind affects every pitch. Weather has always been a factor, but now these networks like Fox, they've got this super specific data. They can make decisions on the fly, predict delays, even use it to explain what's happening in the game. It's like having a secret weapon that everyone knows about now. Makes you wonder what other industries are using this stuff without us even realizing it. Oh, I'm sure there are tons. 
Imagine farlers using hyperlocal forecasts to figure out the best time to plant or harvest. Or construction companies planning projects around the weather to avoid delays and keep their workers safe. Okay, now my mind is officially blown. This is crazy. We used to think of weather as this unpredictable force, but now we're like finally starting to crack the code. Mm -hmm. Not to control it, but to understand it. It's like yeah. we're not just, you know, checking the weather anymore. It's like we're finally understanding it on a deeper level. And that's what's so cool about it. It's not just about, like, efficiency or even profits. It's about making smarter decisions. Yeah. Decisions that are better for businesses, for employees, and, yeah, even for us regular consumers. Right. Like, let's be real. You're way more likely to order food on a stormy night if you know the company's taking the weather seriously. If they're using the best tools to make sure that delivery happens safely and on time. Exactly. It all comes down to trust. Yeah. And as this technology gets even better, that trust is going to be even more important. And speaking of getting better, it makes you wonder what's next for this whole weather intelligence thing. Like what other industries are going to be completely transformed by this stuff? It's exciting to think about, right? Maybe we'll start designing cities based on microclimate data, like using building materials and planning traffic flow to work with the weather instead of against it. Or imagine being able to predict natural disasters with way more accuracy, giving people more time to prepare. Wow. Yeah. It's like we're on the verge of something huge. Like understanding the weather isn't just about knowing if you need a jacket anymore. It's about this whole deeper understanding of how the world actually works. And that understanding lets us make better choices, not just for ourselves, but for our communities and the planet. It's kind of wild when you think about it. Sometimes the most groundbreaking stuff comes from things we totally take for granted. Like the weather. Totally. Mm -hmm. And as we've seen with ships and all these other industries using weather data, that can lead to some pretty amazing things. A more efficient world, a safer world, maybe even a more enjoyable world. I don't know about you, but this whole conversation has definitely changed how I see that little rain cloud icon on my phone. There's so much happening behind the scenes that we never even think about. The power of data right there in front of us. So next time you're out and about and you see a crazy storm or even just a sunny day, take a second to think about it. Think about all that weather data working its magic behind the scenes. It's shaping our world in ways we're just beginning to understand. It really is amazing. And on that note, I think that's a wrap for our deep dive today. Thanks for joining us as we explored this whole world of weather and technology. Until next time, stay curious.